Let's take a look at the chart action for Cardano. All right, so in my last couple of videos, we were watching this point right here, this previous resistance. I was saying until we break that, then I'm kind of being a little more cautious, a little more skeptical. We came up, retested that area right there and got rejected and came down. So what I, I was saying is we had a double top right here. And until we break that area right there, I'm super skeptical and it kind of looks like a double top, which is a bearish pattern. In general, we were watching this uptrend right here we're bouncing on this trend line right there. It looks like we're testing it right now. I'm wondering if we're going to close below it and get another candle going to the red side going lower. If we do, we could start looking at these Fibonacci levels. Basically, from the top to the bottom of this trend right here, we get the Fibonacci tool, drag from the top, the bottom to the top, something like that. And we're looking, it gives us some levels to watch. I'm basically going to put in limit orders all in these areas right here to dollar cost average on the way back down if this trend continues to go down. So basically I'm looking at 2.499, 2.22, 1.99, 1.76. I like the 50% level and the 38% level the most, which is 2.22 and 1.99. So yeah, let's see if we can kind of come down, get a little correction, maybe get these limit orders and then get a bounce and start heading back up. We had such a good run. I was kind of, I've been waiting for a correction a little bit. A correction in my opinion would be pretty healthy for Cardano. If we swing over to the total crypto market cap, we are still in this triangle pattern right here, but we're getting some bread candles going to the downside. It looks like we're testing that support line right now. Until we break to the upside or to the downside, I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna what we're gonna do. If we go to the downside, I'll be right on Cardano. If we go to the upside, I'll be right on Polkadot and Ethereum. So if we go to this downside, my Cardano and Polkadot videos might have been wrong, or they might we might have to reevaluate those targets. If you saw those videos. In general, though, we have this support line right here, and we have this resistance line right there. This is very similar, this top and this previous top to what we're looking at Cardano. And basically, if we break this trend line going to the downside, same thing as Cardano, we're going to have to start looking at previous support levels and possibly a Fibonacci retracement. If we swing over to Cardano versus Bitcoin, we also are still in this triangle that we've been watching, guys. So we have this top right here, top right here, and top right here, and basically a top right there, just this resistance line in general right there and then we have support support basically a support line right there are we going to break to the upside or the downside versus bitcoin if we break to the upside it'll be good for cardano if we break to the downside it'll be good for bitcoin we're still waiting for that breakout let's see what happens as opposed to cardano versus ethereum which we're looking at right now we basically had a rising wedge something like that we had resistance 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 and then support support and a little bit of support right there but we actually broke that support line going to the downside basically what i'm watching now is this previous support levels right here right here and right here it looks like we're coming up right now on that support zone let's see if we can hold support and get a bounce or if we're going to continue down and maybe test this area right here and then maybe i don't know we're going to have to look at these previous support levels that's what i'll be watching for a bounce on this cardano versus ethereum basically if this chart is going down this is better for ethereum and we should be watching ethereum all right, so in general on Cardano, I'll be watching this spot right here. Are we going to get more candles going to the downside? I'll be watching on the 4-hour and the daily time frame. Right now we're on the 4-hour. Can we close below this trend line right here? Or are we going to get support and bounce back up and start moving back to the upside? If we can close, get some red candles going to the downside, that'll be confirmation. Also, if you want to watch the daily time frame, we're going to be watching that the next day or two to see if we can close these candles on below this trend line as well. Right now, we've broken below the nine moving average on this chart, on the Cardano chart. So if we could break back above it, then that might be a good sign. But for right now, we're below it and... We're going to be wanting to see if we close these candles below this trend line and get more red candles. Then we will be watching these Fibonacci levels. That's what I'll be watching. And the 38% level is around 2.22. The 50% level is at 1.99. Let me know what you guys think about that. You guys should check out my NFTs at OpenSea.io slash chart action. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like that video, hit that thumbs up button.